And what can I do to as not shy away in discomfort? And what can I do to as not shy away in discomfort? And what do I do to not shy away in discomfort? And discontinue that which will have me shy away in discomfort. And then I wake up. Because Cleo is up. And she says, it's time for breakfast. And I say, it's time for me to stay in bed and roll around. And time goes on and she goes, meow. It's time for breakfast. And I roll around the other way and say, good morning. And I pet her and say, it's time for me to stay in bed and be like this. And she says, meow. It's time for breakfast. Then time goes on and I'm dozing in and out. And she goes, meow. It's time for breakfast. And I say, no, it's time for me to lay here. And she says, meow, it's time for breakfast. And I say, no, come here, I'll pet you. And she comes and I pet her and we go, oh, do, 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 do. hello, good morning, good morning, Cleo. Good morning, Cleo. Meow, it's time for breakfast. And time goes on, and so this is now two hours later. The sky is even brighter. And now I'm starting to stir, thinking, well, the day may have begun. Has the day begun? Meow. It's time for breakfast. Not yet. My eyes won't stay open for more than five seconds or so. It's time for me to lay here and do this. It's time for breakfast. Oh, and time goes on and I roll around. Drift into and out of scenarios and thoughts and things and visions and imaginations. And now it's time for breakfast. And I'm almost there, and I say, Cleo, I'm almost there. It's almost time for breakfast. And she goes, no, it's time for breakfast. <laughs>